needs no introduction because everybody knows them. But y'all, uh, yeah, please make welcome, you know, mercy me. Uh, congratulations, guys. Congrats you. on your <laughs> Artist of the Year. Not uh, just nomination, but win tonight. So congrats on that right thank there. You. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate How many it. nominations were there tonight? Uh, five. 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 Okay, yes. five. Wow. Yes. Okay, so yeah, you're the artist. Wait. Yeah, so, yeah, fine. So we are the champions, yeah. guys. <laughs> eh, eh. Okay, anyway, so let's also talk about, okay, we're talking about your music, but I want to talk about your movie. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah, is coming out that was previewed last night. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Well, we got approached about seven years ago. Somebody wanted to make a movie about the story behind I Can Only Imagine. and. And uh, it's all about, it's my childhood. I had an abusive father that came to know Christ. He was diagnosed with cancer when I was in high school. And the song was written after he passed away. By the time he passed away, he was like like the godliest man I ever knew. Like his life completely turned around. And so Dennis Quaid plays my dad. Um, let's see. Um, Are you in it? No, movie? heck no. No, no uh, <laughs> the guy that plays me, it was uh, Jean Valjean and Les Mis on Broadway before he took the part. So. Okay. We had to teach him how to dumb it way down, Thanks. sing all the stuff. But uh, <laughs> Trace Atkins plays, uh, plays Brickle, our manager. Uh, Priscilla Shire plays my grandmother, who named the band, said, Mercy me, get a real job. But she played your grandmother? No, no, no. Oh, no I'm sorry, no. I was Priscilla, say, you got a black grandmother, yes, you yes. didn't yes. tell her? <laughs> Well, okay, diversity. Bad. It's yeah. all about diversity. Priscilla Shire plays my music teacher in okay, high school. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'm about to say. Of course, okay, Leachman gotcha. plays my grandmother. Okay, I got to mix that. Sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. That would be. A, okay. I like that better. Actually. It's a family secret we didn't yeah. talk about very much. Yeah. But, um, no. yeah. She played your grandma. Yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah. So, no, yes, so that's right. I hope exactly. she's quite old enough to play the role. Yeah, yeah, sure. no, yeah. So when does it come out? Uh, March 16th of okay. 2018. Okay. Yeah. Is it going to be in all the theaters? Yeah. Across the, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. in worldwide. Lionsgate's put it out. So. Wow. Yeah, we'll see. It's a real movie. It is a real movie. Pretty great. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It turned out okay. It's, it's not too bad. Wow. So, <laughs> thank you. So are you singing in it, or he's singing? No, he sings singing all. We got, he sings all the all the parts himself and. We worked with him for a while, but uh, he's so stinking good. That, wow. Yeah, Very he didn't need cool. much help. Very cool. Okay, so as a band, what are you all doing these days? What's going on? So we're, we're right in the middle of a tour, supporting okay. Lifer, the, okay. um, our current record, and just okay. loving life. Honestly, we kind of have about half the tour over with, and we'll kind of okay. settle into the holidays with our families. And, okay. yeah. So families yeah. and life is in Atlanta, Tennessee. Uh, we, where? We're in Nashville. We moved. Nashville. Uh, we moved to the Franklin area. All of you? About everybody but Robbie. Robbie's still in Dallas. We were in Dallas for uh, all these years. Oh, you're not saved yet. Yeah. No, yes. we're praying for him every day. Uh, yeah. I was in Dallas yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> You, you made it. I yeah. made it. Yeah, yeah. Lower land. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's there. Everybody's here. Yeah. And you said yeah. you had what? 14, 16 kids a month? Yeah. 16. Yeah, 16. I think it is. A lot. I got five. Five, 10, five, four, 14, two. 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. We know how, how old? Add. From what age to what? Uh, 16. I've got 15 down to One, seven. Two, or mine. Almost okay. two. Yeah. Yeah. 15 to two are the oldest. 15 to two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you like kind of draw the lot to see who can come on the bus this week? That's exactly what we do. Yeah. If you're the loser for like 12 weeks in a row, you're just a loser. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, okay. They have to earn it. Gotcha. Earn your way on the bus. Earn your way. But anyway, okay, y'all know how to find them. And if you don't, tell them how to find your stuff and how to find you. Ah, uh, mercyme.org, I guess. Or, yeah, it's that's on the, the internet. Yes, it's, yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's what the young kids are using. Online. On the, yeah. the internet. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to ask w. one more question. This is totally off subject. It just came to me. Okay, so we are in a culture right now, not just our um, U.S. culture, but even the church culture, where there seems to be a lot of division going on. Like, what do you believe is the remedy, and what are some practical things that you think that we can do to help heal it? That's a great question. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I guess the, I don't want to sound cliche, but it's like it's it's to to keep it simply about Jesus, in my opinion. You know, like I grew up in denominational stuff in the Bible Belt, and and uh, and it's you know it's just trying to keep it about Jesus as much as we possibly can, and um, that's. It, I, sometimes we kind of complicate it too much, mm -hmm. I think, and uh, I think we've lost the simplicity of the gospel and what Christ came to do. And and um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a great question. Gosh, yeah. it's a really good question. It's a good tough one. Yeah, it is yeah, a very yeah, tough. Yeah. One. It really Y'all have any? Like... I, I, I think, like he said, I mean, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I think that yeah. that truth is bipartisan. Yeah. I think it, mm. it, if we focus on that, yeah, you know, it, and not on our opinions or yeah. our feelings, but yeah. like focus on the truth. 
Yeah. Um, it it, it's it will unity. bridge it's the a gap. Unifier. It's a unifier. Yeah, absolutely. You're bridge right. the gap. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Anybody else have anything else they want to say on that or anything else? Amen. A amen. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, anyway, thank you guys again, for real, for yeah, all that you do. You. Thank you for what you stand for. Thank you for your commitment, your tenacity. Thank you for continuing to do it, even when it's hard. We know it's not glamorous. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, even absolutely. though people may think it is, absolutely. but you're still doing the work of the ministry. So I want to say thank you for representing very well. Oh, and, um, yeah. and thank you for the music that you're giving, the art that you're delivering. Thank you for the movies, you know, oh, and gosh, the other you. things that God has for you all to do. So thank you for being faithful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very so, much. Y'all, yeah. Support them, follow them, pray for them.